Um, the reason why I call this, this segment Sex Change is because um, it has been noted that um, sex has become the currency of exchange to get ahead. Um, and it is not, I mean, sex happens as quickly as people shake hands. I mean, it's that casual. And that has happened in, in the workplace a lot. Um, I remember when I wasn't working and looking for work, I was sent to this gentleman to uh, see if there was an opportunity to work for, for the company I was, I was applying to. So um, I took my CV, went to see him. He was an HR director at the time. And he told me there were no openings, but he was happy to keep my CV. And he asked, is it possible that I give somebody else in another company to actually look at it? He could actually have, he could have an opening for you. There's a possibility, there's a possibility of him having it as opposed to us. It's like, no problem, by all means, feel free. He said, yeah but um, I'll call you. The event that I do meet him and he's interested, I will give you a shout. I'm like, no problem, thank you. And we moved on, I moved on with my life. Then shortly, one, one evening, I'm at home, uh, he calls me and he says, um, I met with this guy, but he said he's only available in the evening, so would you please come and meet him, uh, make a quick introduction, and then he gets, he gets to, to, to hear you. And I honestly, I think this is it. I was like, fine, no problem. Got dressed, out. And um, I get there and I sit down uh, with uh, the, the HR director that I've met at the beginning. And uh, all of a sudden, this conversation flipped on me. The long and short of it was he wanted a relationship with me. And he was willing to put me up in an apartment in Kileleshwa, his apartment in Kileleshwa. There seems to be something with chips and Kileleshwa. So he went to put me up in an apartment in Kileleshwa. And um, please take note, this man was getting married in a couple of months. Okay? He was engaged to be married. So I decided to play along. I'm like, okay. So supposing I move there and you give the other person notice to leave and I, and I move in, how will you justify the rent being paid to your future wife or to your, or to your wife? He says, oh, that's simple. I'll just debit and credit accounts. This guy had it down to a science. He knew what he was doing. He had, he had it all figured out. And I told him, you know what? Uh, wow. Let me think about this. And I kept quiet. So here was sex on one hand, a job, on another, all possible, but to get this, you need to give this, literally. I have never in my life been put in a situation like that. Ever, ever, ever in my life. And this came as a shock to me. So I sat there and I'm like, now I can see how people give in. Because you're desperate, you've got family to feed, you've got bills to pay, uh, there are people you need to educate, and so this sex thing becomes the key to unlocking this, the job. And I looked at him and I had to think. And I'm wondering, but it's very obvious. I've never done it before. Why am I doing it now? And I told him, listen, I want to pay my own bills. I don't want anyone pay mine, but thank you. Okay? He says, okay, fine. He passed me on to his friend who offered pretty much the same thing. Please take note, this guy is an MD of a company who had the power to get me a job if he wanted to. But he was ready to pay my rent for a little romp in the hay. And I sat there just horrified. I'm like, oh, so this is, it's boiled down to this. And I remember going home and being in tears. And I'm like, I've never, I've never ever um, sacrificed my, my dignity for a job in that way. And, um, and I have seen how in desperate situations you are likely to actually give in for the sake of a job. But there's one thing that I have always remembered. It was in a sermon uh, preached by Pastor Goi Odera, which has actually been put in his books um, called The Roots. Uh, and it reads, um, fail the exam, 
fail any test, but never the integrity test. Fail the exam, fail any test, but never the integrity test. I am telling you, you will never live it down, especially when you are a woman. You will always be thought of as the one who gave it up to get ahead. And it doesn't matter, they may never say it to your face, but you know the whispers are there. You will walk into a room and in as much as you've got a fantastic argument, everyone will still remember the compromise. It doesn't matter, that, that never goes and it never leaves you. And most of the time you always walk with that feeling of shame. Yet possibly you're a fantastic worker, you've got great ideas, you bring amazing things to the table, you're talented, you're gifted, you've got all those things. But guess what? You gave it up for a position. So all those things mean nothing to everyone else. So my advice to you is very simple. Fail the exam, fail any test, but never the integrity test. If you have any questions, please send them to me, but you need to subscribe first, okay? And don't walk alone, let's do life together.